Hi, welcome back. So we are gonna be doing yoga in a flexibility class today. This is all brought to you guys from Amona. And again, I always want you guys to check in with your doctors before doing any of these exercises. Today is pretty mellow. I do have you doing push-ups though. So if you are not cleared from your doctor to do push-ups, um, I will give modifications, but if you can't do a push, please skip this one. Go back to Amona's YouTube and check for other exercises, but just make sure that you're cleared before um, doing any of these ever. So we're just gonna get straight into it. It's 10 minutes and we're gonna be doing two rounds. So we're going to start by standing at the top of your mat. I'm gonna be doing this sideways. Take a nice deep breath in. And we're gonna be doing a couple breaths in each pose. Take a nice deep breath in. And on this one, breathe out and hinge over, reaching down towards the ground. This is when we can use those blocks because I want you to be the most comfortable the whole time. Nice deep breath in and out. And out. This time we are now inhaling and lengthening your spine, putting your hands on your knees. Couple breaths here. Good. Nice deep breath in. And out. Good, go ahead and set those yoga blocks up together right in front of you. We're going to go into a push-up position, going nice and slow down. The blocks are going to block us on our way down. Great. Hold it for a second and drop to your knees. Go ahead and move those out of the way. Modification for up, upward facing dog. It's gonna be on your forearms. Couple breaths here. If you're flexible enough, you can push into your hands. Otherwise, stay on your forearms. Good. Go into push-up position. And now shoot those hips back. Push your chest through and alternate your heels. Give me a few deep breaths here. Pushing your chest through. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, pushing your chest through more. <laughs> All right, we're gonna step our right foot forward and go ahead and turn that left foot out for warrior one, bringing those arms out. Good. Bringing that leg to about 90 degrees, looking forward. Take a couple deep breaths here. Good, on this last one, we're gonna match our feet. Go ahead and match feet. Good, we're gonna grab a yoga block. Go ahead and put it behind you. So I'm giving you two options. You can either put one foot down on that yoga block and then hands together just balancing here or you can go ahead and reach that leg back as if a string is getting pulled and again you're noticing a little bit of wobble here go ahead and match so we're going through two rounds of this first one's kind of just learning Good, put those back, set them up for chaturanga, step back, nice and controlled down, getting blocked by the blocks. Good, go to your knees, push them out onto your forearms. Upward facing dog here. Couple breaths here. One more, and then we're going to downward facing dog. 
Go ahead, go and do push-up position. Push your hips back. And breath in and out, push your chest through. Alternate the heel. Breath in and out, push the chest through more. Good, go ahead and step forward. Good, and we can match. Mountain pose into forward fold. Good. Couple breaths here. Go back to hanging and grab the arms, rocking back and forth. Give me a couple deep breaths here. Now inhale, lengthen spine. Couple deep breaths here in the same spot. Feel free to close your eyes while you're going through this. Awesome. All right, grab those yoga blocks, step back, chaturanga, let the blocks Block you again. Awesome, drop to your knees. Move them out of the way. Let's go on to our forearms. Lift up for upward facing dog. One more breath and then we're going into downward dog. Push the hips back. Go into push-up position and push your hips back. Good, we're alternating our heels and doing a few deep breaths here. Good, keep alternating those heels. Try to push your chest through just a little bit more. Good. All right, back into that push-up position. Step forward with your left foot this time. Turn that right foot to 90 degrees. <sighs> Extend the arms and make sure that left foot now, or sorry, knee is at 90 degrees. Few breaths here. One more. Go ahead and match. Feet again. Grab that yoga block if you want. So again, we can go foot onto that yoga block, hands together, hinging at your hips, or other option is to Bring that leg back as if a string is getting pulled by it. Good, and we're holding. Take a nice deep breath in. Or maybe your foot's on the block. Good. We're gonna grab the yoga blocks, go back into chaturanga. Step back into push-up position. And nice and controlled down to the blocks. Drop the knees, push the blocks out of the way. Go on to your forearms, upward facing dog. Give me one more breath. Fill all the way up, let it all out. Good, push your hips back. Go into push-up position 
and hips back again. Good, and let's go into pushing that chest through a little bit more since we've done a couple rounds. Awesome, really pushing those heels down. Good, try looking forward while still pushing your chest through. Good, let's go ahead and walk our feet forward. All right, one more mountain. Holding all the way down. Going into extension. One more all the way up. Let it all out. Okay, I hope that was a little bit slower for you guys. I really I'm going to be doing classes just slower, still yoga, but um, a little bit different than normal. Um, this month is going to be two yoga classes. Next one's gonna be a little bit um, easier. Again, just remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to get any more classes. This is happening for a full year. Um, I will always do all sorts of variety. So there's gonna be core classes, upper body, pre and post mastectomy, um, yoga classes like this. I figured this month's a little stressful. It's the holidays if you're watching this this month. So do multiple rounds if you really like this. Um, and again, subscribe if you guys wanna know more.